So my 5080 finally arrived and the only model I was quick enough to buy was the MSI Ventus OC+. The cooler on this model is pretty small, so my main concern was the noise. Maybe it's too loud, I will test it out, I will try some different configurations, we'll see how we can optimize this thing to get the best noise to performance ratio. The first test will be at idle, when the GPU fans are not spinning at all. For the next test I'm running Superposition Benchmark at stock settings and it's drawing 330-340 watts of power, so it's still not reaching the full 360 watts of TDP. The next test is still on stock settings, but now it's drawing 360, so this is the loudest situation for the stock fan curve. Closing the side panel doesn't really improve anything. A super quick undervolt can allow you to drop the power consumption and increase the frequency at the same time, so you will get more performance while also getting less noise. Enabling DLSS or frame generation will reduce the power consumption even more while staying at the same clock speed. At this level, around 300 watts, the card is really quiet, performs well, but of course if you want to get the highest possible overclocking potential, you would want to utilize the full 360 watts, maybe even higher. In that case, you are either dealing with a lot of noise, or you should rather buy a model with a better and larger cooler. Now I'll show you the easiest way to undervolt these cards to get lower noise and higher performance at the same time. So first of all you can see that I'm running 360 watts, basically the maximum that this card allows, and it's super loud and it gets to 81, 82 Celsius. What you want to do first is decrease the power limit to a point at which the noise level is comfortable for you. So let's say if I go to 90% and click apply, we are sitting at 320 watts which is much lower and the card is now much quieter, the temps are also better and of course the clocks will also drop, so we need to raise them back up. After you find this comfortable power usage limit that gives you the noise performance that you want, you can start increasing the core clock until it becomes unstable and then dial it back a little bit so that you don't crash in your games. I can safely set up to 400 right now and 3D Mark still doesn't crash Let's try 450, are we gonna crash? Also, don't forget to increase your memory clocks, this will also improve performance. I have not tested at which point I see performance degradation or instabilities. I'll just set it for 600 right now. Of course, don't forget to test this for stability. If your games crash, just dial it back a little bit and you'll be fine. Cheers!